Jareem Richards from Trinidad and Tobago looked up to Otto growing up. I actually think he's going to break my national record in this competition. In the midst of the current 200 meter dominance by guys like Noah Lyles, Arian Knighton, Andre DeGrasse, and Kenny Benarek, it's easy to forget some of the other sprinters who have been right on their heels in almost every race. Dream Richards of Trinidad and Tobago has been one of those guys who's always been in the mix, won medals at the highest level, run some of the fastest times in the world, represented his country to the fullest extent, but it's gotten overlooked in recent years despite all those accomplishments. So let's quickly take a look back at Dream Richards' career, highlight both his challenges as well as achievements, as well as look forward to his medal potential in the 2024 Olympic season. Trinidad was a small Caribbean island and I hope to spark um, inspiration and motivation to some of the young athletes back home so that they could um, become like me or become even better and I hope that my achievements actually help all the young athletes of Trinidad to be able to motivate them to surpass what I've done. Now, I think many were first introduced to Dream around 2016 or so when he was competing at the University of Alabama. But let's rewind just a bit to 2011 when he ran the 200 meters at the World Youth Championships in France. At that point, Dream was still just a 17 year old from Trinidad who was just starting to make a name for himself on the global stage. Within just a few months, he would have his first opportunity to represent Trinidad and Tobago at the senior level. Barely just 18 years old, he ran third leg on Trinidad's 4x4 at the 2012 World Indoor Championships that won a bronze medal in a national record. Now, at this point, Dream was still just a 200-400 runner balancing both events, which would pretty much be a theme carried out through the rest of his career. After that World Indoor medal, he would go on to contribute to Trinidad's relays at both the World Junior Championships, Crifta Games, and Central American and Caribbean Championships. He also made his first appearance at the Commonwealth Games in 2014, only running in the heat zone. But that would be the last time Dream finished that low ever again. In 2014, he moved to the United States to attend South Plains Junior College in Texas, where he was a standout winning 400 meter national titles in 2015, both indoors and out. By 2016 though, he transferred to the University of Alabama, and though he still ran a few 400s as well as on the 4x4s, he seemed to shift his focus to the 200, eventually placing second place indoors as well as third place outdoors at the 2016 NCAA Championships. But what I found most notable was his sub-20 performances of 19.98 and 19.97, the former of which was windy. These races pretty much indicated that Dream was not going to be a one-hit wonder or just an NCAA athlete who makes a bit of noise in school and is completely forgotten about after graduating. He was very much planting seeds to make an impact once he stepped foot on that global stage. And it really didn't take him long to do exactly that. After winning Trinidad and Tobago's national championships, Dream went on to compete at the 2017 World Championships in London, his first senior world championships. Within the course of a week in London, Dream set the track on fire, first winning a bronze medal in the 200 meter dash. This was just the second time Trinidad and Tobago had ever won a world championship medal in the 200, following up on the legendary gold that Otto Bolden won back in Athens 1997. Yes, my intentions was to win. It was a really close race. Um, I wish I had a win, but I mean, I got a medal, so I'm not even mad. And I'm just thankful for being a medalist and being able to go on the podium. It means everything. I want to carry it back home to Trinidad for my mom. But. Richards went a step further when he ran second leg on the 4x4 and helped his country win a gold medal in the relay, the first ever gold medal for Trinidad and Tobago in the event. And it was just the third ever gold medal for his country at the World Championships. Only Otto Bolden in 1997 and J.U. Gordon in 2013 had topped the podium before for Trinidad. Additionally, there's a strong argument that Dream played a completely pivotal role on his second leg when he moved the team up from sixth to second place, a move that may never be forgotten by his country. Now, it didn't take long for him to follow through on that momentum when, in April 2018, he won the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. Remember, just four years ago, he wasn't even able to make it out of the heats. Now, he was the Commonwealth Games champion at 200 meters. He also ran sub-20 for the third time when he hit 19.99 seconds at the Doha Diamond League. Throughout 2019, though he remained consistent for the most part, Dream was unable to make the 200 meter final at the Doha World Championships, which was a setback career-wise, but may have actually been a motivating factor looking into the future. After the pandemic in 2020, Dream was right back to his consistent ways as he not only made his first Olympic team in Tokyo, but was also back in the 200 meter final. 
Now, he unfortunately only finished 8th place in that final, while Trinidad's 4x4 also finished 8th place. But despite the disappointment of the past few years, these moments would simply serve as motivators for Dream, which would see things all come together in just a few short months. Now, at the top of 2022, Trinidad and Tobago would suffer a tragic loss as Dion Lindor passed away in a car crash in January that year. This was a heartbreaking experience as Dream and Dion were not only countrymen, but also teammates and friends. Combined with his challenges since about 2019, a spark was lit under Dream to truly leave it all on the track, which is exactly what he did. My lead friend Dion Lendo, big inspiration to me and um, part of the reason why I'm picking up the 400 meters so much this season. Mm -hmm. You know, just to honor Dion and, you know, try to keep the fire burning and making sure that you know, we have a good legacy in the 400. Indoors in 2022, Dream won the 400 meters at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in a huge personal best of 45.83 seconds, which led him to earning a spot at the 2022 World Indoor Championships in Belgrade, Serbia. He would go on to defy the odds and ascend to the top of the podium, winning the 400 meter dash gold medal in a time of 45 seconds flat, a national record for Trinidad and literally one of the fastest times in the history of the event. This would pretty much be a full circle moment as, if you remember, the first time Dream ever competed at a senior championships was that 4x4 leg at the 2012 World Indoor Championships. Now he was here, once again, on the podium, but this time individually with a gold medal around his neck. And this season was just getting started. First, at the 2022 Prefontaine Classic, he would drop his 400 meter personal best to 44.79 seconds improving on his 45.21 from back in 2017, which was actually the same year he really showed out in the 200. Um, actually, I feel great, had a good 400, got a PR today, 44.79. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel great, first one for the season, and just looking forward to getting better in the 400 meters. Me and Coach still talking about what we're gonna do for the championship. Um, right now, I'm just having fun, um, running some twos, running some fours, and we'll see when that time comes, um, what event I'll pick. Well, a few weeks later at the Trinidad and Tobago National Championships, he would go on to run another personal best, but this time in the 200 meter dash. 19.83 seconds, improved on his previous best of 19.97, and was now just barely off Otto Bolden's national record of 19.77 from 25 years ago. At the 2022 World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, Dream would match that with a time of 19.86 seconds in the semifinals, proving that he was no fluke. Now, though he only finished sixth place in the final, he was showing that he was very much back in the mix as one of the best sprinters in the world. He would cap off his 2022 season with a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games in a time of 19.80 seconds, dropping his personal bets once again and defending his Commonwealth title in the 200 meters. Now, I just wanna highlight how dominant Dream's 2022 season was in the grand scheme of his career. He ran personal bests at 200 and 400, and even more specifically in the 200, he ran sub 20 on four different occasions, essentially doubling the amount of times he had done it throughout his entire career. And all of his times were faster than his previous best of 19.97. Additionally, he went home with two global titles, one indoors in the 400 and one outdoors in the 200. So this was by far his best season to date, and he was in no rush to slow down. Honestly, this is the best season I ever had. I can't really be too tough on myself. I honestly just kind of mad inside, but yeah. um, I can't be too tough on myself. I had a world indoor medal this year, ran personal best. Every time I step on the track, I ran faster. Had two PRs in the 400 meters and in the 200 meters, and even ran a windy PR in the 100. I ran 10.16 this year. So um, best season I ever had in my lifetime. Yes, I'm very, very thankful for that. So, you know, um, you know I just learn from the, the mistakes and learn from the bad things, but also still, be thankful for the good things that happened this season and still focus on myself on my own personal progress because I have progressed a lot this year. 2023 was another world championship year and he once again ran 400 meter races indoors in preparation for that outdoor season. We saw Jareem run at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix, the Milrose Games, and the Birmingham World Indoor Tour Final. Each time he went sub 46 seconds, eventually winning two out of the three races. Today actually felt like a, like a training run, like a practice run today, you know, so I'm just blessed and thankful to God for the ability to come out victorious. Run more 400s, honestly, because I usually run a lot of 200s outdoor. So this year, I'm hoping to maybe get a few 400s outdoor to drop my PR even further down. 
Outdoors, he balanced both the 200 and 400 meters, notably improving his 400 best to 44.68 seconds early on in April. You say you just started doing speed work, but you just set a 400 personal best like a couple weeks back, right? Yeah, that's all strength, bro. <laughs> We've only been doing like tempo stuff, um, mm -hmm. slight speed endurance, but nothing like raw speed. We only started like with one workout last week, you know, so right now I'm very strong in the four. I think I could go way fast any 400 meters and I don't know, I'm just gonna play this season to see how it, how, it, how it goes out, honestly. Then he won the Central American and Caribbean Championships in another best of 44.54 seconds. This was a clear indication that he was not only in the form of his life, but could very well likely make his 400 meter debut at the World Championships and be a serious contender for the podium. But unfortunately, things didn't pan out as we may have expected. At the Trinidad National Championships, Dream suffered a foot injury which hindered his ability to prepare for Budapest. Though he did run the 400 meters at Worlds, he was only able to make it through into the semifinals. Um, I sustained an injury two weeks ago in um, our national championships running the 200. That's why I didn't run the, um, the finals of the 200 in championships. And prior to that, I hadn't trained for two weeks um, on the track. I had two workouts for one week and then the following week, I was doing runs on um, a high jump mat every day. First time I ran was when I came here. You know, so it was just a blessing from God, honestly, for me to be able to run here um, and to still, without doing any running on the track, run 44-7. I mean, it shows that there's still a lot in store, but I mean, I can't, can't get away from the fact that I'm still disappointed. I mean, it's hard to not make a final. Um, it's hard, it's hard, but I mean, I accept it for what it is and in all things, God is good. So. But what's crazy is that while dealing with this injury, he still ran 44.76 seconds, his third fastest time ever, essentially meaning that if he was healthy, it's hard to not imagine him in that final challenging for a medal. But it just wasn't his time. Now, as we look forward to 2024, Dream is coming off two of his best seasons of his entire career, 2022 and 2023. And remember early on when I noted he started off balancing both the 200 and 400? Well, these past two years clearly showed that whichever event he takes on, he is more than capable of achieving success. Though he did suffer a setback this past year, once healthy, Dream seems more than poised to get back into the form that got him onto the podium at the World Championships, World Indoor Championships, and Commonwealth Games. Dream Richards is easily one of the greatest 200-400 sprinters in Caribbean history, and it's hard to argue he is not one of the best doublers in the world as well. Though both events are stacked as we look forward to the Paris Olympics, it's almost certain that Dream Richards will definitely be in a conversation for a medal in whichever event he chooses to contest. Thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure to represent Trinidad and Tobago, to come out here to motivate the younger athletes. To me, that is very, very important. Because um, when I'm done with running, I would like that someone was felt inspired by me, by some of the things I've, I've done and was able to achieve in my lifetime. And, um, to do to, to be able to go and do better than, than I have done um, you know I was motivated by Otto Bolden growing up and to be able to at least be close to his national record and to get some of the medals that he's gotten when he was an athlete is important so that young athletes of Trinidad and Tobago could now believe that someone from their country did it so now they could do it when they get of age and they could use us as like a marker and, and motivation.